In this game, it was a 5-1 demolition with a hat-trick from Alessia Russo. She's now moved on, of course. In October, Manchester United also beat Leicester on their own patch. The key to Paris with a single goal, and that proved to be enough. Today, she is back in the 11. Mark Skinner says she is raring to go. Manchester United to get us started then here. Where we go then, Manchester United against Leicester City in the Women's Super League. In a big week for Manchester United, the question is, how focused are they? After the Champions League qualifier on Tuesday night, the deciding game coming up on Wednesday. They can make the group stages of the Women's Champions League, but there was a real intensity about that game against PSG. Do they continue to play with that same level of intensity here? Or will they be slightly affected? Willie Kirk's Leicester have started the season brilliantly. They said at the beginning of the campaign that they didn't want another relegation battle. They didn't want this campaign to be like the last one. Well, it has been the perfect start with the wins over Bristol City and Everton. Manchester United, though, of course, a completely different kind of challenge. Easy one to control for Billy Turner. No pressure for her. And to her right, Maya Leticia. Leicester battling hard to win the ball back. And it's back here with Turner. Turner very quickly closed down by Lena Peterman. I think there was a feeling within the Leicester camp that she might take a while to get going. Lena Peterman, but she's... Got off to a pretty fast start with two goals in two games. <laughs> Messed up with a free kick, just shy of the halfway line. The Brazilian, Jace, missing out today understand that she's being rested ahead of the Champions League game which is coming on Wednesday so an opportunity for Manchester United fans to see Miyazawa and also Alvin Mala who has started the season so well two big goals for her in two games Manchester United's games have been pretty entertaining so far edge of the seat stuff for Manchester United fans. Got the equalising goal in the game against PSG in the week to give themselves a fighting chance in the second leg. And of course, the Arsenal game was full of drama, the 2-2 draw. Chloe Lacasse with a fine strike to level the match right at the end of the game. And it's been a season full of late goals and late equalisers and late winners for Manchester United so far. Leticia with a hopeful ball forward but will be picked up here on the left-hand side of defence and rolled all the way back to Janina Leipzig. CJ Botts, the New Zealand international, starting on the right-hand side of defence here. And moving the ball into a dangerous area. Manchester United looking to pounce here. Paris with the through ball and Lucia Garcia has a great opportunity, but she runs into Janina Leipzig, who is pretty quickly off of her goal line to gather up here for Leicester City. 
Well, it's a big let off after the loose, the loose pass by CJ Botts. Paris looking for Garcia. And Janina Leipzig, who's been so impressive again this season, very quickly out. Here comes another Manchester United attack. CJ Bott making the clearance on this occasion. Here is Mary Earps. Had a pretty tough start to the season with all of the talk of a potential move to Arsenal, which never came off. But she has been under the microscope and she has said herself that she hasn't exactly been enjoying the uh, focus on her and her every move. On the pitch, though, she has been her usual brilliant self. Leicester building on the right-hand side here. And looking for the free kick, but the whistle never comes. Gabby George, though, has stayed down after the challenge. And she will need some treatment here. She may just have been caught by Kaiman, who was trying to break forwards. And the referee... Adewumye Sunei calling across the medical staff for Gabby George. Well, Manchester United have had to make some pretty big moves in order to replace some of the players who have moved on. On Abati, of course, leaving Manchester United over the summer. And Gabby George has come in on the opposite side and been able to provide that left footer. Built up a really good partnership with Leah Golton, who's on the bench. Doesn't look in particularly good shape here, though. Well, I think it's going to be a stretcher. Mary Earps making her 100th appearance for the club today. Across to uh, provide some support for Gabby George. And of course we hope that she will be okay and that the injury isn't too serious, although it doesn't exactly look good at the moment. So in the early stages here, Mark Skinner has a decision to make. Will be forced into a change that he certainly wouldn't have been expecting with just seven minutes of the game gone. Manchester United have plenty of strength in depth, though, on that bench. is at least able to walk to the side of the field, which is hopefully good news in the longer term. I can't imagine, given the way that she's walking, that she'll be continuing the match, though. Best wishes to Gabby George. Hopefully it's a swift recovery. Jade Riviera is the one who is about to come on here. So Manchester United, United potentially would have been hoping to rest her ahead of the Champions League game in midweek, but Jade Riviera onto the field, replacing the injured Gabby George. And we're just about ready to get back underway.
Well, this was a real feature of Leicester's performance against Everton last week. They were pressing really high from goal kicks. And they've won the ball back here. But it will be a Manchester United goal kick. Really aggressive tactics from Leicester City. And that's certainly part of the way that Willie Kirk likes the team to play. Wants them to dominate from the front. Mary Earp's not taking any risks. Goes long looking for Mallard. Manchester United throwing on this left-hand side. Hannah Blundell has switched across towards the left-hand side, a role that we saw her play plenty of times last season. And that means Riviera can move across to right back with Gabby George going off. Mallard with the heavy touch. Heli Ladd able to tidy things up. And Leticia looks across towards the left-hand side, but it's Courtney Nevin, the Australian, who comes racing forward. Leicester like to stay up inside opposition territory. They play in many ways in a very similar way to Manchester United. Like to keep the ball, quick passing. And very aggressive, as you'll see with the challenge, which comes in from Shannon O'Brien. Pressure by Leicester again, and a Peterman coming across. <laughs> One big chance of note in the game so far. Thea Garcia with the opportunity having been fed through by Nikita Paris. A mistake at the back by Leicester City. Willie Kirk said before the start of the game that it really feels as though there will be chances in this game that Manchester United do give you opportunities to score goals. It's just when you're in those positions, you have to take your chances. And that's something that Leicester struggled with last season. And he scored 15 goals in the Women's Super League. Made some good progress here. Missy Goodwin trying to break forward on the right-hand side. Ran into Millie Turner, though. The injury to Gabby George just affecting the momentum of the game ever so slightly. Particularly for Manchester United who now have to adapt. And that was pass. And here is Miyazawa. Foul on the key to Paris. Right under the nose of the referee as well. And that will be a free kick for Manchester United, who aren't necessarily flowing in the early stages. Space here on the left-hand side for Blundell to come forward here. And the Blundell's pass. Now Mallard can't find the room for the shot. She was quickly closed down and Missy Goodwin can tidy up and get the ball back to her goalkeeper, Yanina Leipzig. Not the best clearance away from her. And Sophie Howard had seen enough of that. Swipes that one away. United back on the attack. Miyazawa trying to break. Leicester trying to pass away to safety here. I see good win. Lucky to see the ball drop to Tierney. Leticia to Riviera. Loves these forward positions and off she goes here. Into a crossing position tracked by Shannon O'Brien who is back 
and she shows good strength and good skill. Although she has conceded the corner, first corner of the game here for Manchester United. Excellent pressure by Mark Skinner's side. And forward here comes Katie Zellum to take this one. Had some success from the corner in the Champions League in midweek, Manchester United. And it's a good looking ball towards Mallard, who picks up the pieces but stumbles as she goes for goal. It's a real mess in there, and eventually Leicester City have cleared the ball away. Zellum will get another go here. Well, she thought she was about to, but there is a Leicester player who is down inside the penalty area. And again, the physio teams who are being kept pretty busy here, making their way onto the field, this time for Leicester. Well, Malar was the one who received the ball. Then had another go on goal here. But as she uh, well, tried to fire goalwards, she ran into a couple of challenges. And that was, I think, Shannon O'Brien who's gone sliding in and is currently down. Yeah, Shannon O'Brien who is now up and receiving treatment. An eventful start to the game. But the two biggest incidents so far are probably the two injuries. Gabby George offered the field and now Shannon O'Brien who went flying in there to get the ball off of Melvin Mallard. to the side of the pitch here and we'll wait to see what happens with Shannon O'Brien so momentarily Leicester are down to 10 players looks as though Shannon O'Brien will be okay to continue here for Leicester and Katie Zellum can continue here on the right hand side doesn't get too much of a chance to do too much with the ball. Instantly under pressure. And then an overhit pass from Maya Leticia. Goes out of play for a goal kick. Uh, trying to pass the ball around on the edge of their own penalty area but Nevin who'd moved into a more central position having started the game at left back sent the ball out of play here's Riviera into Hayley Ladd just about able to control the pass back Peterman couldn't get away from Riviera, who was recovering. And then the pass from Turner is intercepted. CJ Bott brings Leicester up into Manchester United's half. Kynan's pass onto Whelan. Good looking attack this for Leicester. And now O'Brien, who is back onto the field, wins a corner. Well, Leicester, who were under some pressure at the other end of the field, do well to get themselves into a more attacking position here. And Janice Kaiman, who arrived this summer from Lyon, comes across to take this corner kick. Kaiman floats in a ball, which Erps punches away. And Leicester try and win it back, but it's Manchester United who are able to clear. And Yanina Leipzig comes a long way. Good recovery by Lucia Garcia.
Well, Manchester United face PSG on Wednesday in the decider for the Champions League. Their game was abandoned yesterday, PSG, after fireworks were thrown onto the field. Wonder how that will affect them. Leicester on the attack here. Nevin delivers a brilliant looking ball. Here's the best chance of the game so far for Leicester. Janice Kaimun couldn't connect. And in the end, there's no trouble for Mary Earps, but it was a brilliant breakaway here by Nevin, the Australian, forced away into a crossing position on the left-hand side and delivered a really good ball as well. And Kaiman might just be kicking herself that she didn't do more. Manchester United winning the second ball. Nikita Paris was there. And Sophie Howard turns into some trouble, but there to recover it. Poke away, helped on by Missy Goodwin. And Whelan trying to spin, but there's no room in there. She was quickly closed down by Manchester United. And now Leticia flings the ball forwards, finding Paris who's away. Nikita Paris sees the effort well saved by Janina Leipzig. Lovely ball forward here, fabulously found, and Nikita Paris struck it pretty well. Good save, though. Well, in actual fact, the flag was raised for an offside. Leipzig's ball away, clipped over the top, and into a wide position for Shannon O'Brien. O'Brien pokes it through here for Leicester, who will go for goal. And Mary Earps is quite happy to watch that one sail over the top of the bar. Half chance for Leicester. And Whelan connects, but just couldn't keep the effort down. Manchester United World Cup Golden Glove winner Mary Earps with the big clearance away. Plenty of players gathering on that left hand side, flicking the ball on. Tierney trying to get there. Here comes Nevin. She loses out Manchester United with Zellum now. Lundell with the pass back towards Turner. So far, these two looking fairly evenly matched. You get to see Mary Earps tested all that much. She has watched a couple of chances head wide. Still the best opportunity of the game fell to Luthea Garcia. But Yanina Leipzig came out pretty quickly and made a pretty smart stop to deny her. It's that long ball over the top for Manchester United. Well, they're unable to find a way through. And that's because Josie Green is back there to make the challenge. Harris trying to flick it through towards Garcia Garcia. Well, clearly Manchester United have done their homework on Leicester City and realise that they do quite often play a high defensive line. We've seen that long ball over the top a couple of times. All a bit more congested back there at the moment. And that challenge always looked a bit unfair from the key to Paris. Howard's long ball forward. Easily picked up here by Riviera. 
Doesn't have it for long though. Now Tierney twists into trouble. Lab with the challenge. Miyazawa trying to get something going. Leicester hustled pretty hard in that central area. Not giving Manchester United the room to play in the way that they would normally like. Nice one too here from Mallard. And now there is some space. Manchester United break forward. Mallard the wrong side of CJ Box and Nikita Paris with a chance well saved by the feet of Janina Leipzig. Quick breakaway by Manchester United, led here by Mallard. The angle here was always difficult for the effort on goal, so waiting for the run of Nikita Paris. And there wasn't really enough on the shot to test the goalkeeper. Here is Ladd. Ladd feeds it through. United on the attack again. Nikita Paris is stopped and attracted by CJ Bott, who gets back to make a vital challenge. Manchester United just going up through the gears here. Two chances in quick succession. But again, Nikita Paris is denied. Well, here comes Katie Zellum, the captain. Manchester United looking for the breakthrough. Zellum delivers. And Leipzig came, but she wasn't able to claim it. One of her own players taking the decision to clear away. Fed back in by Leticia. And it drops into the arms of Janina Leipzig. While well, Leicester living rather dangerously at the back. And they get pretty lucky here. You see Goodwin looking for the run of Janice Kaiman. Turner who's there and Earps with the clearance away. CJ Bott. Well, made the challenge and then got pretty lucky in making the block. I don't think she was really even looking at the ball. Otherwise, Miyazawa would have been away. Here comes the Leicester pressure. Riviera coolly back to Mary Earps. Now Blundell steps beyond Missy Goodwin. Challenge is unfair on well, Nikita Paris. Josie Green was rather too enthusiastic. And that will be her last warning. showing the skill, perhaps in an area where Hannah Blondell wouldn't necessarily have wanted that kind of skill, but she received the pass well. Leticia said she was really disappointed to miss out on the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand, having made the provisional squad. Her target is Euro 2025. A strong start to the season for her, and she wants the ball here, receives it from Blundell. Shifts it wide to Riviera. Good pressure again from Leicester, but it has been bypassed here by Manchester United, and Nikita Paris is away. Finds Garcia. And she'll have another go here, Lucia Garcia. Plays the pass to Zellum, pushed away by Janina Leipzig. Came in at a really nice height for the Leicester City goalkeeper, given away by Leicester. Well, there have been moments at the back where Leicester City have got themselves in a spot of bother. Brilliant break here by Nikita Paris, but there was just no room 
for Lucia Garcia to find her way through. In the end, a relatively routine stop for Janina Leipzig. United corner, delivered deep. And Lena Peterman is back there to make the header away. Well, here they come, Manchester United. Miyazawa finds some room for the delivery into the area. And here comes the shot from Katie Zellum. Well blocked by Howard, who is back there on the edge of the six-yard box. Good spell of pressure, this, from Manchester United. Half an hour in, though, and we are still goalless here. Mallard losing possession. And then Peterman able to carry the ball away. Not seen much yet from the Leicester City number nine. But as we've seen from her this season, she just needs a moment to make her mark. And the two Manchester United centre-backs, Letizia and Turner, will be all too aware of what Lena Peterman is all about. Here's Katie Zellum. With room to move forward, shifts it wide. Malar has switched from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Manchester United trying to keep Leicester City guessing here. Henny Lab with the flick around the corner. And Malar gets onto the ball to find Nikita Paris. Paris delivers. And the delivery is slightly behind Lucia Garcia. And Leicester City can bring the ball away. Well, they're not hanging around here, Manchester United. Garcia. Covered by CJ Botts. Now Zellum. Zellum's pass straight out of play. Throw in here for Leicester. here on Janina Leipzig he plays a rather risky ball forward but that's the way that Leicester City play high risk high rewards and they've made a good break forward here up into midfield after a spell of intense Manchester United pressure Missy Goodwin might need some support here Loses out in the battle with Hannah Blondell. And Manchester United win the throw in. Well, based on the start of the season, there won't be too many teams that roll Leicester over. They are not the same side that we saw at the beginning of last term. They're certainly not even the same side that we saw in the second half of last season. Even though they were very good at the end of the last campaign under Willie Kirk, they have made some big name signings. Janina Leipzig was a massive coup for the club. Janice Kaiman, Leda Peterman, they are the sort of signings that you would expect to see from a team who are challenging for a top five position in the league. There are new standards at Leicester. Ball in the face here. Tierney receiving the attentions of the physio team. Sam Tierney has been so central for Leicester and their brilliant start to the season. Played a brilliant ball last week in the second half against Everton to set up the chance for the only goal of the game for Lena Peterman. And after the game... Willie Kirk said that tactically she's the most intelligent player that he's worked with since Izzy Christiansen, who of course then went on to play for England multiple times. And there's certainly a feeling that Santini could be heading that way. 
At the other end of the field, treatment here for Janina Leipzig. Well, this wouldn't be good news for Leicester. Well, Janina Leipzig, of course, such a hero last week with the penalty save in the game against Everton, but what has been so incredible this season is that she has faced far fewer shots than she did in the last campaign. So while she is statistically still very much up there in terms of her save percentage in the Premier League and all of the good stats that you would expect to see a goalkeeper performing well in, she's really high up the charts, but Leicester certainly haven't been as open at the back as they were in the last campaign. But now she's okay to continue, Janina likes It looks as though possibly it's a hamstring problem. And Tierney also back onto the pitch. Leicester have 11 again. And Riviera bringing the ball forwards. Brought down by Shannon O'Brien. United were waiting for the whistle. All a bit frantic. As O'Brien is the latest one to be sent rolling to the floor. Goes Mallard. Can't combine with Nikita Paris. And Peterman, good at holding the ball up. Goes well to keep it for Leicester. Mallard so tenacious, very quickly in with the challenge. Leicester clear away. And now Missy Goodwin on the break. Erps. Spotted the run and does ever so well to sweep away just as things were starting to open up here for Leicester. You really can't take your eye off this game. Both Manchester United and Leicester really at each other. Here comes Miyazawa looking to play the pass through. Garcia was away. But there. Just wasn't quite enough on the pass, slightly undercooked for Miyazawa. Pressure on Josie Green. Well, even though she is only very much new to the setup at Manchester United, they seem to be really missing the direct running of the Brazilian Jace. Or Jay Z, as some people like to refer to her, but I'll refrain from doing that. Miyazawa trying to get something going here for Manchester United. Leicester battling hard to win it back. Bringing the ball away from danger for now. Missy Goodwin with lovely feet. Wins a throw in. Brilliant challenge. Well, it looked like a good challenge, and that's the appeal from Leicester, but the whistle has been blown. Riviera was looking for the give and go. Nevin had other ideas, but Nevin penalised for the challenge. A whistle comes from the referee. So Ney gives a free kick to Manchester United.
Well, Manchester United trying to make their move down the right-hand side. I feel that the free kick was slightly wasted. Five minutes to go until half-time. We're going to have a chunk of additional time, though, you feel, with the injuries that we've had in this game. We've had a big stoppage with Gabby George going down. We've had Leipzig and Tierney, both on the ground at certain stages. Here's Zellum. Now, Miyazawa. to get themselves out of a tight spot. Leticia looking to work it through the central area and able to find a way beyond Tierney who came bursting through. Millie Turner. Manchester United do have a tendency to ramp things up just before the half-time whistle. Well, of course, with Chelsea winning yesterday, does add extra importance here for the likes of Manchester United if they want to be challenging at the top again. The standard is you have to try and win every single game. It's a tough division, the Women's Super League. Manchester United could be in trouble here. They would have been had Leticia not anticipated the pass through. Good interception from her. Lab brings the ball away. She was fouled, but the referee is playing an advantage here. Garcia was fouled and the referee blows the whistle. Nevin is there and it looks as though Nevin is going into the book. Well, the referee points out that she made a challenge just moments ago that was a bit unfair. And, uh, well, she doesn't really get anywhere near to the ball. Yellow card for Courtney Nevin. What could Manchester United create, though, from this free kick here? Katie Zellum. Lifts the ball in, and there's a bit too much on it, and it doesn't reach Melvin Mallard. Well, usually we expect a bit more from Katie Zellum and her set pieces. Leipzig was carrying that injury earlier on in the game. Seems to be okay, at least for now. And Peterman can't turn. Not under the pressure from Millie Turner. Now she's out as she tries to win the ball back. Manchester United with another free kick. Pressure is on here for Leicester before the half-time whistle. And Zellum's pass to Mallard finds her in an offside position. And the ball is instantly given back to Leicester City. And that's a brilliant turn away by Josie Green. Received a pass that she didn't really want, but she managed to swivel away from trouble. Esther just haven't been able to get much going in the final third of the field. Real credit to the Manchester United defence who are working ever so hard to keep them away from goal-scoring chances. Well, 
although it has to be said that Leicester have been a second half team so far this season. They were brilliant in the second half against Bristol City on the opening day. And they scored in the second half against Everton last week to get another three points. Willie Kirk, his uh, master of the tactics so far, keeping Manchester United pretty quiet here. Off goes Mallard. Runs into CJ Bott. Here's our. Well, we did think there will be plenty of additional time at the end of this first half. A minimum of seven minutes here. Tini's touch. Back towards Green. Gets away from Garcia. Whelan having to shield the ball to keep Letizia away from winning it back. Does well to reach around the corner. across towards the referee there. Miyazawa did look as though she came across with a late challenge, but the referee happy for play to continue. over hits. Leicester were trying to open things up down the left-hand side. Lena Peterman challenged by Letizia and feeling the effects of the challenge. She's gone down pretty heavily here. Maybe a surprise not to hear the whistle for a free kick. Hey, Leticia not so happy that she wasn't able to continue. <laughs> Riviera lifting into the penalty area, drops pretty kindly. And it's rattled onto the crossbar. Miyazawa arriving with a brilliant chance to score just before half time. And unbelievably, she sees the effort come back off of the crossbar. Fabulously worked here by Manchester United, who got the flick on off of a Leicester head. Miyazawa with a glorious chance, but it doesn't cross the goal line. And then Malar heads the effort over the top. Nata Miyazawa with a brilliant hit, caught it really well. But it just goes smashing onto the bar and off of the goal line. Big let off here for Leicester. Unbelievable that that didn't cross the line. Looks like a really good signing for Manchester United. Wins possession. Plays the pass. Selim is there. Back to Malar. Malar spins. Thought about the effort on goal. Played the pass to Zellum. Zellum having to fight pretty hard to keep it away from Leicester's midfielders. And now Zellum lifting one over the top. Miyazawa. And now Lads. Miyazawa for Manchester United here. Well, it was deflected, but it took the ball into the arms of Janina Leipzig. Could so easily have taken it in a, in a slightly different way here. 
Miyazawa with two good chances just before half time. Another good save by Janina Leipzig. Lads. Through to Miyazawa. Good looking ball. Nikita Paris with the flick on. And then a Peterman eventually able to bring the ball away to safety here on the left. Good fighting back by Hayley Ladd. Still possession. Off of Shannon O'Brien on the left. Letizia. Fabulous distribution. Riviera feeds it wide, looking for Paris. Garcia demanding the ball through the middle. Pass never arrived. Now Peterman, but Leicester just can't get anything going here. They'll do well to get themselves in at half time with the scoreline level at 0 0. We have a minute and a half to go before the break. And Manchester United are trying to force their way forward again. Riviera with a crossing opportunity feeds in towards Garcia. Brilliant stop. Leipzig is there to push around the post. Fabulous run by Garcia, and she was superbly found here. Darted away from Howard, found the space. But the effort in towards the front post is brilliantly stopped. United corner. It's hooked away. Miyazawa unable to turn it back in there. Lovely touch by Blondell. Zellem is still over on the right-hand side, forward from the corner. Another delivery turned away. Miyazawa back into the danger zone. And Leicester will be quite happy to see Yanina Leipzig come across, gather the ball in, and offer the defence a bit of breathing room here. Leicester so careless and they give the ball away again at the back. Mala unable to do too much with it. They have made a few mistakes at the back, Leicester, in this first half where they've given United chances that they didn't really need to. Slightly uncharacteristic from them. It's not the way we've seen them perform more recently under Willie Kirk. Well, Manchester United might be wondering how they haven't scored before half-time. Miyazawa going down the tunnel with perhaps the best chance to score just before the break. She hit the crossbar and saw the ball cannon off of the goal line. And Leicester managed to hold on. And so they go down the tunnel at half-time with the scoreline at Manchester United nil, Leicester City nil. Well, plenty of highlights in the first half. We can have a look back at them now. Manchester United started the game really well. CJ Bott here forced into a mistake. Paris fed Garcia. And the quick sinking of Janina Leipzig came to the rescue for Leicester. In truth, Leicester have created very few chances. This is the only real one of note. And it fell here to Kaiman who put the opportunity wide. You have to say Leicester, for the most part, have done pretty well at containing Manchester United and their threat, but there have been moments. Nikita Paris with one here, back in the lineup, testing Janina Leipzig low with the effort. United have been trying to play this long ball in behind with the high defensive line from Leicester, 
And on a couple of occasions, they have managed to get in behind. This was a good opportunity for Katie Zell and well saved again by Janina Leipzig, although you have to say a chance you would have imagined that she would save. And this, the best opportunity of the first half for Miyazawa, racing through on goal, the World Cup Golden Boot winner. We'll look back and wonder how she didn't score. Mala was disappointed. She couldn't do more on the follow-up as well. And then just before half-time, another chance for United to score, who ramped things up before the break. Garcia, again, seeing the effort saved by the brilliant Janina Leipzig. So we would imagine there will be a change for Leicester at half-time of some description. Manchester United in control before the break, but it is 0-0 here, back with the second half soon. Excited, would say nervous, but nervous doesn't really suit me. So yeah, excited. We're passionate about what we're trying to do. We know what we're going after. We know it's going to be tougher than it ever has been. So um, very excited of what's to come. I'm feeling really excited and uh, curious in the new season to see how far we'll reach it with Chelsea. What excites me about this team is we've had very little disruption to the current squad. Being able to bring in Jill Rod, who's a top player. We have a, a new team together and I'm really excited to see how we can do in this WSL and looking forward to it. We've had a good pre-season so far, seven new signings who are bedded in well. It's going to take a little bit of time but we're really pleased with the performance levels. We've had some tough games in pre-season, tested ourselves against European opposition. I think it's going to be a big step up this year but I think we're riding the confidence of promotion and we're hoping to really carry it into this year. I'm looking forward to it. We've obviously got new players in, new manager in, fresh start. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the season starting. The team goal is to win trophies. Right now we have the cup to give everything for and the league. Uh, so of course we want to win trophies this year. Team goals for the season is to win. We want to be successful. We want to win trophies. We, we enjoy winning silverware. So that's got to be the aim. We're in it to win it. We just need to work and improve on, on what we did well at the end of last season, compete with the top teams and, and be in and around it. If we can be even better in, in, in the aspects of keeping the ball, be good at dominating the games, it uh, doesn't matter if it's top four, if it's, it's the rest of the league, uh, we want to have our own identity and uh, so basically just building on that. I think it's just building on what we did towards the end of last season. We obviously have our internal goals, but as a team we'll be looking to build on what happened last season, yeah. To be competitive. We want to make sure that we surprise teams and that doesn't necessarily mean in the obvious ways, it means in the fact that we've got ambition, grit, we want to prove our point, uh, we want to play football and uh, we want to make sure it's exciting for fans because they've been following us through this journey the last two years so we want to make it uh, just as enjoyable for them again. Ooh, definitely hard working. Ambitious. Is that the right word? Together. Quality. Driven. Funny. Passionate. Togetherness is one word. I think resilient as well. Relaxed. Good people. Passion. We love our fans, they're great. The fans should come down and watch us because we will leave nothing in the tank. We'll put it all out there, we'll work our absolute socks off. So please fans, come and watch us. We have a good team, we have a team that, that's passionate. And we, we've got some talented players at, at this football club and, and we're really looking forward to seeing what we can achieve this year. I really hope that uh, we in Chelsea can put out a show for the fans, uh, play some good football, show some winning mentality, both when it goes good, but we want to do it even better, but also when it's not that easy. I think the, this season will be extremely competitive and yeah, there's no reason for the fans not to be there. We're playing against some of the best players in the world, playing against some of the best teams and it's our chance to make our mark. The fans should watch Arsenal because we play good football, we play exciting football, we want to score goals and we want to have possession and uh, dominate games. They rock um, Walsall time and time again. The support towards last season was arguably one of the best in the division. So get your tickets now, guys. Our fans should, should look out for every uh, every new signing that we have made, uh, really interesting players uh, with different qualities. So yeah, watch out. Yeah, we're pleased with, with who we brought in. We've, what we wanted to do with this recruitment was make sure that we 
added strength and depth competition for places. We needed goals, so Sophie Roman coming in is, is a, a big part of that. We're looking forward to seeing how she settles in. Janice came in. I think she's very composed on the ball. And then I'd also say Deanne Rose because she's got a lot of experience in the league and she's very quick. As I said, it's, it's a very, very new look side. A lot of new signings, but I think that's exciting. We're a new look team, but we're excited to show what we can do. We've obviously um, got to fifth spot for the first time, so I think what's different is the ambition and, and drive from the club is, you know, high from us and hopefully we can do well this year. New squad, we lost quite a few players last season. We've also got a new manager, so I think our style of play will change. Maybe the formations that we play within that. Yeah, so quite quite a few changes. Last season was a really tough season, but it was almost just about surviving, whereas now we've got a fresh slate, so everyone's really excited. top scorer off the mark inside four minutes and it is a beautiful goal from Bethany England it needs to be Williams oh how about that Good close control by Ford is Miedemar the howitzer from Vivian Miedemar done by Toon and then the hit is in magnificently Olivalia with a beauty to double Manchester United's lead we'll be mailing it the over the wall and it will be in and that is the equaliser and it comes from a set piece Horton takes it and Horton buries it it is a fourth Brilliant Manchester City goal. No scuffers or tappings here. Just.
for Spurs. And it's Ashley Neville lighting things up with a super strike. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm Chiara. And, and this, this is Save Reacts. Rebecca Welsh takes the first look at the watch and Chelsea might be able to win it here. It's Sam Kerr. She's clean through. All right. Stopped Rolls. by Roebuck. Big and strong yeah, she is. Made herself big. <laughs> oh, Stop it. Nah, Sam, that was a great team. Oh, thanks. To oh, that you didn't even, like, yeah. like did even just pull off a worldie. Oh, nice, nice. Thanks, Kiki. We'll watch it again if we have to. <laughs> Again. Ooh. Oh, this is a, oh, uh, I yeah. thought this would be the one. Reaction. And she just, that is a vile. She's just like. <laughs> nah, she's not. Nah, that was a great reaction to you. Yeah, right on the goal line. Daily Robot Show. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one. Yeah, I do. yeah, it was like the Chelsea nice. one. Nice. Nice, Roby. Great positioning. <laughs> I think this was, it was only like 1 0 this game or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, well to stay up there. Yeah, I would have been down. Why is she so open? Yeah. Not very defending, but we're not going to judge that, are we? <laughs> but we shall. It's all about the same. <laughs> I, I can't even remember this thing that I did. <laughs> Surely not gonna show the goal. <laughs> oh. Nice Kiki! Get out of here. That was just like, get out of my house. Oosh! Sent to the shops. Nice Kiki. Same big. Big. And up for the rebounds. Come on. Straight up. <laughs> Spots of Bailey Robot. <laughs> oh, nice. That Why did that? Yeah, that looked, that looked really weird. And Ooh, again. Stop the punch. Out. Get out of here. We should get out more, shouldn't we? <laughs> <gasps> That's you. We don't like that. Even that kit Oh, I love that kit. Yeah. Nice oh, sound. no. I'll tell you what, I mean, not to make excuses, but <laughs> those mitre balls, when they're brand new, are so slippy. <laughs> Should fine. be catching this, but you know. Oh, that was great fun. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, lovely. Well, <laughs> nice. Three clips between. Wrapped up. <laughs> Welcome back for the second half here of Manchester United against Leicester City. 0-0 at the break. Manchester United last season forced their way into the top three. And if they want to stay there, then they are going to have to win games like this. Leicester didn't create enough in the first half, and that's clearly been noted by Willie Kirk. And there will be changes here for the second half. Those changes are coming up. It will be Yuta Rantala, the Finnish international, who will be introduced. And we are also about to see Dian Rose. So two pretty attacking changes. It may even be a third change as well, is it? We're also going to see Hannah Kane. Number 21, Hannah Kane. 
Well, Missy Goodwin removed, struggled to get into the game in the first half. And so Hannah Kane comes on in her place. Shannon O'Brien is replaced by Deanne Rose. And here's the third change. Yuta Rantala onto the pitch, and it's, well, perhaps a surprise. Janice Kaiman, one of the more experienced players, the former Leon star, has been replaced at half time. Well, we'll see if those changes make much of an impact for Leicester, who didn't have a shot on goal in the first half, or a shot on target, I should say, to be more specific. Back underway then for the second half. Leicester who gets us started here in this game against Manchester United. And Tierney will look for a ball out towards the right-hand side, but it's instantly won back by Manchester United here. There was a flurry at the end of the first half from Manchester United. Plenty of good chances, including their best of that first half. Hinata Miyazawa with an effort onto the crossbar. Leicester have been a second-half team, though. They have done their damage in the second half of matches across the season. Well, lots of other games for you on the FA Player today. Manchester City also fighting hard at the top of the table, facing Bristol City. One goal to the good there. You can catch that one with us. As well as the game in the Women's Championship later on today, 45 minutes for that one to kick off, Watford against Lewis. And then later on today on the FA Player, we've also got Brighton against Tottenham Hotspur. That one kicks off at four. Howard with the clearance forwards. And Leicester trying to find some room here on the left-hand side. First meaningful touch for Deanne Rose. Still forcing her way back to fitness after missing a chunk of last season with injury. She does have a point to prove. And Willie Kirk expecting to see the best of her a bit deeper into the season. She's uh, conceded a free kick here. Clear instructions from Mary Ertz. One by Nikita Paris, and here is Zellum. Anna Peterman was trying to win the ball, couldn't get there. Loose pass by Hannah Blundell, and Leicester charge forward. Look at the blue shirts. They are so, so aggressive with the way that they play, even though they're playing here against Manchester United. They're into a crossing position here. Low delivery into the area, and Riviera gets pretty lucky. Uh, she gets a second chance to make the clearance, which eventually she just smash away. Still waiting for that first shot on target from Leicester. Leipzig fairly far from home. Finds Rose here. Nevin on a yellow card from the first half. Here is Howards looking for Peterman who finds the flick on. Whelan was away there. It was a brilliant move by Leicester. But they just failed to execute. Manchester United are going to have to be careful with Lena Peterman dropping into these deeper areas of the pitch. 
and then creating that space in behind. Long skin aside, yet to get going really in the second half. Kane's touch into midfield. All the way back here with Howard. And Leipzig again looks left. Nice touch from Nevin. Good recovery by Riviera. Now Rafia Garcia thought about the pass, decided to keep hold of the ball and kept hold of it a bit too long, ran into Tierney and Tierney wins the free kick. Just that moment of hesitation that allowed Tierney the chance to grab the ball back. And then Peterman is in an offside position. And she gets a yellow card as well for kicking the ball away. Well, we've seen some uh, pretty unusual decisions in the Women's Super League, it has to be said, since the start of the season. Was she trying to waste time there, Lena Peterman? only really be a decision that gets called into question if she goes on to get another yellow card it's all rather ridiculous last time out between Chelsea and Manchester City of course in the Women's Super League referee was trying to play the advantage the whistle came a bit late there challenge is penalized Nikita Paris looking slightly frustrated not the first time that she's had treatment like this in the game Yet to see much from Manchester United in the second half. They will look to change that here. May Leticia making plans. Lifts one to the back of the area. And it's turned away by Tierney. Back in by Riviera. And Tierney again is the one to meet it. Nikita Paris brought down from behind. CJ Bott this time. And this time there will be a yellow card. Clever turn here. Drop of the shoulder by Nikita Paris. Looks really sharp. Certainly fooled CJ Bott. Katie Zellum lining this one up. Might be a bit too far away for her to go from goal here, especially with Janina Leipzig being the goalkeeper. Zellum. Is wasteful as she sends that one over the top of the crossbar. Well, Manchester United have a really nice run of fixtures, and it's a run of fixtures which they can certainly look to take advantage of as they try to keep pace with those at the top. And this good fixtures start here. Yes, there's PSG in midweek, but after the PSG game, it's Everton, Brighton, and then West Ham. But they are struggling here to break Leicester City down. Willie Kirk's side proving to be pretty resilient. Good pressure by Garcia. Steals possession, races into the penalty area here, has a quick look up. And there's nobody there to meet the cross. Well, she did superbly well to take the ball off of Josie Green. But everybody made the run into the six-yard box. Garcia with the cut back and nobody there waiting. Wonderful burst, had a look up as well. Nikita Paris hovering around, but she just makes that move. 
and they're not quite on the same wavelength. No chance for United, no trouble for Leicester. Might be some trouble for Manchester United here as Whelan holds the ball up, tries to bring Kane into play. Good recovery by the Manchester United defence. Kane runs into a wall of red in the shape of Blondell. And then goes sliding in to win the ball back. And she will be the latest here to go into the book, I think. Yellow card for Hannah Kane, the substitute. Well, they're going to have to be careful here, Leicester. They've got Nevin, Bott, Peterman and now Kane all in the book. Changes are incoming here for Manchester United. Mark Skinner feeling that something had to be done here. Leicester have started the second half and they have been very difficult to break down and it will be a triple change for United as well. Toon, Goldson and Williams all coming onto the field. Well, Malvin Mallard is the first to be removed. The French international looked bright in the first half. We've not really seen too much of her in the second. And it's Ella Toon who's on to try and make an impact here. Hayley Lads also off of the pitch. And Rachel Williams, who scored such a vital goal on the first day of the season against Aston Villa, comes on to see if she can create some more magic here. And Leah Goldson on to replace Luthia Garcia. Might be slightly disappointed there, Luthia Garcia, after perhaps being one of the better performers in the attacking third here for Manchester United. But Leah Goldson provides a very different sort of threat, direct running and a real eye for goal. Manchester United certainly need a moment of magic here because it's been lacking so far, especially in the second half. Well, it's a late challenge on Yusra Rantala. And the Finnish international certainly feeling the effects of that one as she goes down. Unable to turn inside her own half. And now Manchester United receiving the yellow cards. Well, oh, here's the challenge. And it was pretty late from Katie Zellum. Captain is booked. with the ball up into midfield. Rantala again being pursued by Katie Zellum. Hinata Miyazawa then overcooks the pass. Here comes Kane. Did have Whelan ahead of her, but she wasn't able to make it. Well, she was able to win the foul, but she couldn't get beyond Tana Blundell. Did pretty well here because it looked as though she'd lost possession, but she was just tugged as she spun away. And these are the kind of moments where Leicester will be looking to take advantage. They haven't created many chances in the game. Well, it will drop pretty kindly here, and Leicester have managed from the free kick to squeeze the ball into the back of the net. 
Whelan is there with a really clever finish. And Manchester United have been punished for not clearing the ball away. Well, it looked as though the threat had been dealt with here from the free kick. But it dropped ever so kindly here for Aileen Whelan. Nobody marking her at the back of the penalty area. And Mary Earps couldn't stop that. What a finish. Some goal. Well, Leicester are looking to keep their 100% record alive. But I don't think there would have been too many people with them facing Manchester United here, expecting them to get the win. But with half an hour to go, it's Leicester who leads. Well, by my numbers, that's their first shot on target in the game. United made changes just before the goal came. Here's one of them, Goulton, trying to feed it through towards Ella Toon, who couldn't bring under control, not with CJ Bott around. Well, CJ Bott here, not so happy with the decision of the referee. There was a real scrap for the ball. And the throw-in has been given here to Manchester United. Well, free kick, sorry, rather than a throw-in. And Zellum is the one who is behind it. Zellum punched away by Janina Leipzig and it just wouldn't sit down in there for Rachel Williams and it's brought away by Dean Rose. Leicester on the break again. That could be a brilliant ball from Yuta Rantala. Kane has managed to get there. She's all on her own though, Kane. Nobody in the middle to meet the ball. Rantala did well to find Kane. Might have been a better idea here to wait for support. She'd held the ball up for just an extra second or two. Maybe Rantala would have been able to get into a better position. Well, it's a difficult spell here for Manchester United. But they have had to fight back from positions like this already this season. Their resolve was tested in the week in the Champions League against PSG. They came back with an equaliser there. Against Aston Villa as well. They had to fight pretty hard to snatch all three points in their first match of the season. And they are going to need some fight here. Against one of the more scrappy sides in the division, Leicester, under Willie Kirk. Leticia goes route one. It drops for Howard, who very nearly gave it away to Williams. Elena Peterman tries to get control here for Leicester. Dian Rose looking to attack Riviera. Taking no risks, goes back towards Mary Earps. And there well, are more problems here for Manchester United. Riviera just slipping as she's gone down. They've already had to make an enforced change with Gabby George in the first half picking up what looked like a really bad injury. It may not be the case, but it didn't look great. I don't think this is cramp. Ella Toon's come across to help her stretch this one out, but just watch the way she slips.
Well, well, Manchester United give some treatment to Riviera. Let's have a look back at the Leicester City goal. Manchester United must have thought they'd got this one away. Turner's header, though, dropped straight into the path of Aileen Whelan, who was so calm and was so clinical with the finish. Takes something special to beat Mary Earps, the Golden Glove winner at this summer's World Cup. But it was a brilliant strike from Aileen Whelan, and it's the goal that separates the two sides here. We are back underway. And Toon dropping deep. Tries to find some room here for Manchester United, who are being pursued relentlessly by Leicester. Willie Kirk said over the summer when I spoke to him that they'd really just spent those summer months focusing on themselves, not really thinking that much about the opposition. And it seems to be making a really big difference here. Leicester so well co coordinated so far in this performance. The key to Paris now with a crossing opportunity delivered low looking for Leah Goldson it was a brilliant pass and it's one that has been sent wide here Goldson looking for the chance to get in between the two defenders but she just couldn't quite reach the ball Manchester United corner here comes the response 25 minutes to go in the game Zellum whips one in and Manchester United a level. Letizia attacks the header and directs it towards that far corner. Brilliantly worked by Manchester United. It's Manchester United one, Leicester one. What a fabulous delivery here by Katie Zellum. Whipped in the ball with real pace. And Letizia made the run and wasn't trapped by Courtney Nevin. There was nobody on that far post. And the header brings the game all square. Well, it will be relief for Manchester United fans. As Mayor Letizia grabs the equalising goal to cancel out the initial strike from Aileen Whelan. Peterman dispossessed by Zellum. And now Rose. Again tangling with Riviera. She came off of the field just moments ago with that injury. Looked to be okay, but that collision has sent her to the ground. Manchester United need to get the ball out of play here. While well, the referee stops proceedings. And Riviera will surely have to come off here, which will be really bad news for Manchester United. They've added depth this season. Plenty of players on the bench who can be difference makers. Here's the challenge here with Rose. I don't think there can be any blame of Rose. Again, it's the awkward fall. And she was already in trouble. Well, she's back up here, and it would be almost unbelievable to me if Riviera were to continue. Well, she's some tough cookie. Back up, and we're back underway. And now United have problems on the opposite side. Well, Manchester United thought there was an intensity about the midweek match in the Champions League qualification match. 
with PSG. Leicester are certainly providing a, an intense level here as they try to compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with the side that finished second in the Women's Super League last season. Leicester have a corner. And here they come looking to add another. Luna Peterman scored a bullet header against Bristol City on the opening day from a corner. Will be the most likely target, you would imagine. Howard is also forward, bobbing around in there is Tierney. Pressure on here for Manchester United as the corner comes in. And, well, the target was Peterman, but the ball never reaches. Howard back into the box. Away by Turner. Well, elsewhere in the Women's Super League, Manchester City are currently ahead in their game against Bristol City. Perhaps no surprise, but they are leading by two goals to nil. Jill Raw, who is such a superb signing back in the Super League. And Leia Alexandri as well with the goals. Well, it's another yellow card for Leicester, this time for Tierney. The key to Paris has had some pretty rough treatment in the game. And Leicester have a fair few yellow cards. I count five. Letizia, the goal scorer, who got Manchester United back in the game, trying to provide something. It's hooked away, though, by CJ Bott. Galton trying to flick on. Well, if Manchester United were hoping for an easy ride before their Champions League game against PSG, they certainly haven't been given one here by Leicester City. As it stands, Leicester's unbeaten run is still intact. This would be the first time they've dropped points, though. When you consider Manchester United beat them 5-1 in this fixture last season, well, we've seen some improvement, although the job isn't done yet. Manchester United pushing, Toon trying to find a way through. Loses possession, and now Rose is away. Rose here for Leicester with a chance to strike. Brilliant challenge by Riviera. Rose still with possession. Tierney. Threw it into the box, and then Lena Peterman brings out the best from England's number one. At full stretch, Mary Earps makes a brilliant stop. Well, Lena Peterman has been in excellent form since her arrival in the Super League, looking to make it three goals in three games, but Mary Earps had different ideas. Wonderful save. Another Leicester corner. In towards the front post this time. Zellan was there to make the header. Howard flicks on. And it's cleared away by Toon. And now the Manchester United players can break. And just look at them sprinting forward here. And it's a wasted opportunity. Hinata Miyazawa doesn't really connect. Leicester able to get the ball back. Well, this is a thoroughly entertaining game. One that you just can't take your eye off. It was a really interesting comment last season 
from Sophie Howard, saying that there have been a shift in mindset of the club since Willie Kirk came in and that the players don't go out trying to lose anymore. They are looking to find ways to win. And that has been the case since they've got the goal in this game. And even though Maya Letizia managed to get a goal back for Manchester United, Leicester are pushing and pushing for a winner. Well, this substitution had to happen. Riviera, who has twice been down injured, finally off of the field here. And it's Gemma Evans who comes on in her place. Remarkable, really, that she was able to stay in the game for so long. I don't think it was a change that Manchester United wanted to make. And it would be very surprising to see Riviera, I think, for the Champions League game coming up against PSG. Willie Kirk there. We'll be absolutely delighted if Leicester can get a point here. Although he's not the kind of man that believes in playing for a point. Leicester are pushing. We're back on the way. And Josie Green, who's received some attention, is ready to go. And Tierney hooks the ball across towards Rose, who Leicester are looking for time and time again when they're on the attack. And Hannah Blundell, who started the game on the right-hand side of defence, then moved to the left-hand side when Gabby George came off, has now moved back across to the right-hand side and has switched with Gemma Evans, who's just come on. Leah Goldson passes the ball back, and Manchester United will try and open up the shape of the Leicester midfield by playing the ball back towards the halfway line. In this system, Lena Peterman has to do so much running as the only striker. And credit to her, she doesn't really stop. Turner has found Toon. Not really been able to get into the game too much since coming on in the second half. 13 minutes to go. Here's Zellum. Didn't put enough on the pass. Leicester waste it, though. Need to do better when they have possession. Nikita Paris skillfully turns away from two challenges. Wins the tackle as well with Yuta Rantala. Well, in terms of fight and endeavour, you really, you really can't criticise Nikita Paris. She's been absolutely superb in this game, full of energy. Now Leticia does have this brilliant range of passing. Picks out Blundell, who in turn finds Williams. Back to Blundell. Blundell's first time delivery headed away by Howard. Goldson can't bring under control. And Kane comes back to help out. Well, it was really nicely worked on this right-hand side by United, who kept the ball in play here as they tried to keep the pressure on. Zellum. Miyazawa feeds it forwards. Paris can't turn. United really looking to test Leicester here. Galton's ball over hit, kept in play here by Blundell. Hinata Miyazawa. In it goes from Leticia. Galton's head up. Inina lights it, comes to punch away. And again, a big collision inside the penalty area. And the referee will have to stop the game here because of the protocol surrounding head injuries. Smart thinking by Sophie Howard, who very quickly came across to double check on whether the players were all OK. Leticia onto Galton. And it's in here where Paris collides with the punch of Leipzig that there is an issue. Well, hopefully everybody's OK. Dominic 
does look as though the goalkeeper, Janina Leipzig, has unfortunately been caught square in the face. I don't think there was ever any question that Janina Leipzig would pull out of that punch away. She has again been crucial here for Leicester. There were clubs in the summer that came in and offered more money for Janina Leipzig, but she has really found a home here at Leicester, really believes in the programme and the setup here under Willie Kirk. Not for the first time in this second half, Josie Green again speaking to the physio staff. Have to be careful now, of course, because of concussion. Ten minutes to go. Kirk deep in thought, having to discuss the what ifs, the what nexts. One thing they do have this season is options from the bench. They're still pretty busy in the transfer market in the summer. Made some really decent additions. Mark Skinner has made his changes. And there he is. Wouldn't be a disaster if his side were to get just a point here against Leicester. But it would certainly be a big blow, especially given that Chelsea have found their winning groove and Sam Kerr is back in the goals. And especially given that they have already dropped points in the game against Arsenal. And especially given that Manchester City are running riot elsewhere against Bristol City. Not even half-time and they are four goals ahead. Good news that everybody is back up onto their feet does look as though Josie Green has come off the worst of the two. And uh, Sophie Howard, I think, just letting Janina Leipzig know that uh, well, possibly there was something on her tooth. Nice support within the Leicester camp. And for now, Leicester are down to 10 players. What this also means is we're going to have another chunk of injury time at the end of the second half, just as we did at the end of the first. And it was rather frantic at the end of the first half. That was when Miyazawa struck the crossbar. Leicester are going to be forced into a change here. It's uh, Julie Thibault who is about to come on to replace Josie Green. One of this summer's signings. Comes onto the pitch for the final eight minutes. The challenge for her is to try and get up to the speed of the game as quickly as possible, but she's a French international with plenty of experience. And Leicester quite sensibly give her the first touch as we get back underway. Well, it's another touch for Thibault here. Well, if you're a fan of either Manchester United or Leicester, I can't lie to you, it's going to be a pretty nervy affair from here on in. Into the final seven minutes of the game, expect plenty of additional time as well. Last season we saw Aston Villa all of a sudden become a side who could compete with the top four in the division. And based on today's performance and their results so far, I think you can add Leicester to the teams that are able to compete with the likes of Chelsea, Manchester City and Arsenal at the top of the table. Leah Galton. Right, it goes to Gemma Evans. There's certainly a pantomime feeling about the stadium. Kane is the latest one to go down here. Evans here trying to play the ball into the area. 
smashes it into Kane, who instantly went down. Trouble is, you can't waste time anymore with the new regulations. The time will certainly get added to the end of the game. Evans trying to turn, not giving the chance to do that. All hands on deck here for Leicester, who do manage to win the throw-in. And I'm not sure that Hannah Kane is OK here. Skips away, but still looks to be in a bit of pain. And she's fallen pretty awkwardly there, Kane. Only returned last season after a pretty horrendous injury. Worth keeping an eye on her. Should Tarantula. I think could be a real player for Leicester. In a tight spot. Manages to win the throw in. Manages to get away from the challenge of Blundell, but she's straight back into position. She's really had the measure of Rose since she came on. Leicester brought her on at half time in an attempt to try and create some chances. They still haven't created many, but crucially, they created the chance that mattered the goal for Aileen Whelan to put them ahead. Well, when a team play like Leicester, when they close down, when they stay in shape, when they try and make it really awkward for the opposition by fronting them up, at some stage, you expect all of that energy to drop. You can't always maintain it for the full match, but the thing about Leicester is they are so incredibly fit. They've worked all summer to be able to play like this. They will match you up all the way through to the 90th minute and beyond. And that's what they're going to have to do here. Does someone have the character to find the breakthrough goal here? The winning goal. Box head up. Kane racing after it. Ranseler couldn't get there. Then a Peterman can. Kane with the first time pass. And Ranseler tries to feed it back. Here is Katie Zellum. Tidies things up for Manchester United, who are forced backwards here. And Leicester continue to push from the front. Miyazawa. And space here for Paris. Well, it had to be perfectly timed. And Sophie Howard, who's had a hell of a game, came across and made the perfect challenge. Here's the key to Paris. Swings in the delivery. And it's headed away by Leicester. Thibault is there, helped on by Tierney. And now it's a foot race. And Letizia gets there first. Anna Blondell. On towards Paris. Brilliantly spotted by Nevin, who came back to intercept the pass. That was rather risky, but Nevin is there. There's the ball in behind. Ella Peterman has a glance across, was looking for the flag. I think Mary Earps was always getting there first. She makes the clearance. Kane, hooked away by CJ Bott. 
Picked up by Williams. Selim not hanging around. Here is Goldson in space. Leah Goldson trying to work the room for the shot. It may drop here for Hannah Blundell. Hannah Blundell perhaps should have done more. Fires the effort straight at the goalkeeper, Janina Leipzig. Either side here, and it could have been a different story. But you feel she should have worked Janina Leipzig a lot more. They won't get too many chances like that, Manchester United, between now and the end of the game. But we can expect plenty of additional time. We've had a fair few stoppages, to say the least. And there we go. An extra 10 minutes at least at the end of this game. Well, Manchester United fans have become used to drama this season. Late goals in the game against Aston Villa. A late equaliser for Arsenal in their match in the Super League that finished 2-2. And a late-ish goal too against PSG in the Champions League to draw them level in midweek. It's always edge-of-your-seat stuff with Manchester United this season. So at least you could say it's something they're used to. 